Yes, I know. We're going to have some background noise from that super highway in front of us up out here. We got the side door closed and the big door open to shoot the video so we'd have sunlight. So we're going to have background noise. Just bear with us to the video if you can. Bought this thing here a couple of months ago. Cooked one time on it. Shot a couple of videos at the same time. Put them up there for y'all to see. The Blackstone. Adventure Ready. I believe it's called a Blackstone 1885. Pretty good little griddle so far. Today we're going to be sh shooting some uh, salmon on top of it. And uh, we're going to make some fish tacos out of some white whiting. Whiting fillets. Now, as you see, we did keep this covered up. We oiled it. But you've got some pitting on top of the, the griddle itself. Now, we're going to see how that's going to affect the cooking. Cooking this fish. Now, fish is a soft meat, so it may have some problem with the sticking, but we'll keep plenty of oil on it to see how it performs while we're cooking the fish. So stick around. Let's get this old fish going and see what this old Blackstone griddle is going to do with it. Well, I know we're going to have some background noise. But we got the side door closed and we got the front door open so we can have some light from the sun. We got this old griddle fired up. We're going to put these, uh, these whiting fillets on here. Now I've got the right side of the grill just a little more warmer than the, the left side. See, that's the white. The white, of course, she wanted some salmon. There's the salmon. Now, as you see right there, oh boy, they're drag racing out there right now. Get a temperature gauge and we're going to shoot the temp on that grill. For the griddle. Right there in this area right here. 391. Over there in this area, it's 352. I have never cooked any fish on this thing. This is actually the only second time I've cooked anything on it. But uh, we're going to see how it turns out. Let me see if I can readjust this camera a little bit. Now, I'm not dressed up in no fancy clothes, no cooking. Especially now that I'm. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> now I'm gonna flip this over right now. I want to see how bad it sticks to the, to the to the griddle. You know, it doesn't take very long to cook fish. You know, we got this seasoned with uh, cayenne pepper, chili powder, salt, pepper. It did stick a little bit there. We're only cooking on it the second time. I would expect that. Get it over top, get you a little more seasoning, you know what I mean? I'm going to turn the salmon up just a little bit. I'm looking pretty good so far. get back on that grid a little bit more so you can see everything. Get it up close. There you go. How about that? That's better for y'all? Can you see now? Nobody wants to see my ugly face. They just want to see the product cooking on this uh, Blackstone Adventure Ready Riddle. He ain't got much action on this side yet. But it's a lot cooler. 
on the left side. This side here is a lot cooler than this side over here. But I'm gonna shoot that temp over there. It's up to 366 right here in this area. I'm gonna shoot it right here. Isn't that amazing? That's 305 right there. But that's not, the fish is a lot smaller in thickness than it is over there on the south side. We'll look down here and see that little thing is burning. That thing should have been cut off, but that's something else it should have been cut off. There we go. Now I'm going to be making some fish tacos with this fish here. I don't know what she's going to do with hers, but I love fish tacos with a little bit of. Uh, cabbage, tomatoes, onions, and cilantro on them. And of course, we're not going to show fish tacos being made today. We did that in one of the other videos, and they turned out very, very good. Let's look at it one more time. You can't flip this old fish too many times because it'll start falling apart. I guess the purpose of this video, I just wanted to see if that grill is going to let, let that fish uh, stay together or was it going to fall apart. So far it looks pretty damn good. Look at that piece there, you see how that did? Now I, I might have missed that little area right there. I did shoot the top of that griddle down with some vegetable oil, actually olive oil, before I started cooking. And I did take the meat and I put olive oil all over the meat, soaked it in that. Then I put the seasoning on top of that so the seasoning will stay on the fish itself. So that might have helped it keep it from sticking on that grill. Now let's see what the salmon looks like on the other side. Oh my God, that's the skin side, look at that. She's gonna like that, it's charred up pretty good. You know anything about salmon, you know it doesn't take long to cook it and you don't want it overcooked. I'm going to turn them down just a little bit. I don't know if you put too much heat on this griddle, that fish will stick to it no matter how much oil you put on there. Let's take a look at the salmon again. Mm -hmm. Got a little toasty flavor to that salmon. Put some back over, put some oil back over there and let it cook through. You know, these old Blackstone Adventure Ready Griddles are pretty good. I cooked some fajitas on them, and I cooked some chicken on them, and uh, they're really great asset to have on your patio. If you want to make sure you keep it covered up, this one didn't come with a cover with you know, a folding top on it. So uh, what I do is I made me a makeshift cover. I put cardboard down on it, then I put a tarp on the top of that to keep it from getting all rusted up. But even so, you do that, you still gonna get a little surface rust on it. It's a, it's a grill. You just can't stop that unless you cook on it all day long. But see, it's starting to stick more now <clears throat> because that grease or that oil that I had on. The fish. Yep. We're not gonna flip it no more. I want some of that crusty surface on there. I like that old charred flavor. Some people might not like that, but I really do like it. I think it's really good. Now I'm gonna turn this burner off over here. On the left side, we're not gonna have no more heat on here. piece over here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to show going to be some good fish tacos. Get some of that fish taco and let me show you something else. Just to make it up with it. Oh yeah, this this right here is going to go real good with you. I bet you don't, I bet you don't know what that is. Take a guess. It comes clear. It's 125 proof. Brought down to 100 feet. 
the little peach flavor. So take a guess at what this is. Leave your comments down in the comment section down below. See if you can guess what that is. Got that one. And we got this one. For New Year's. We got blackberries in it. Mm -mm -mm. They're gonna be some belly warm stuff right there. Eat that fish. You get a shot of that down after you've got that fish cooked up. Mm, got a good stuff on it. Look at that salmon. Oh my God, that's so looking good. Now that salmon is just about done. Damn, that background noise is tough. Yeah, we almost got it finished up here. Mama's going to be happy she got her some salmon. Woo, that's so sure looking good. Can't wait to get that on top. Come on over here, Mama. Let me see how you want your salmon. The chef's at work. Nobody going to see your camera? Just come on over here. Stand right here and tell me where you want. The camera's facing over here. I know you like your salmon cooked a certain way, and I'm no master chef. The skin side is down. That's the top side. It's just now losing the pink color. So I'll turn it back. Uh, how, much dark, how much more cooking you want on that? That's a really little dark. bit more. A little bit more. The so boss says she wants... Ten minutes. Ten minutes? It'll be burned up by then. Five more minutes, huh? Yeah. Okay. The boss says she wants it cooked a little longer. I know fish is starting to stick to that little pretty good now. This time, take it off. It's done. Yeah, I try to call her over here. She thinks she's going to be a celebrity TV. Ah. Nah. Okay. We're going to start putting that stuff in this little thing I'm going to dig right here. But it's pretty much cooked. I've been wanting some fried, fried fish, but this ain't fried, so this is grilled fish, and it looks pretty good. Let me get it closer to the camera, see that? Oh, don't that look good? All you need is a black stone griddle. I'm going to put this right in the middle of it. I gotta try this little piece right there, come off of the edge. I'm not much of a salmon eater. Mmm. But I can tell you, that piece of salmon's pretty good. Now, I'm gonna cut a piece of this fish off over here. The texture of that fish is just right. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Well, guys, I just wanted to show y'all how well this old black stone grill cooks fish. You see, you got that stuff coming out of the salmon. But it's almost done. So we'll conclude this video. Just want to let you know that that black stone grill will cook pretty good fish. Well, we ask that you hit the like, subscribe button. Let me, let me get up here and talk to you. Okay, now here we go. Now you can see my big ugly face. Well, we ask that you hit the like, subscribe button. We also got another channel that's underneath my name called Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, last name S-B-R-U-S-C-H. We've got about 140 videos out there from Make It Shine to Wine to Beer sawmills uh, you name it it's on that channel it got all kinds of crazy stuff out there so be sure to check that channel out as well and stick around this is a channel that's in the process of growing but we're going to be shooting a lot of cooking videos out there we already got a few now but we're going to put a lot more videos out there so hit that like subscribe button stick around once you subscribe we'll send you a notification when the next video comes out thanks for watching guys